Today we're going to work on the neck portion, lighting it. It has uh, one, two, three areas to be lit. And, uh, and then the other thing we'll do is, uh, if you recall, uh, we still need we still need a, a hole here to 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 get our wiring down to the main body part, and 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 luckily there's a perfect uh, little circle here. You probably can't see it on the video, but between between this peg and this hole, there's a little imprint left from the molding, a little round circle, and it's a perfect spot. So we're just going to take the Dremel and drill drill out that spot. Okay, I'm going to need that to be a little bigger. Um, so, uh, but obviously, uh, when you're when you're drilling out this plastic, it's if if you've got a larger hole to make, it's good to start a little bit smaller, and uh, and kind of work your way up, uh, as opposed to going with the large drill bit that might uh, might bite and mess things up a bit. Um, I'll be right back. I got to change uh, to a bigger collet to fit this bit in. I'll be right back. I enlarged the hole here to where uh, to where this uh, resistor will fit uh, right down through there. And um, uh, what I'm going to do. So let's let's look at this neck piece a little more here. Uh, let's see, maybe through this side. Make sure we can see that. Yeah. Let me grab my little tweezers to point with here. Um, I'm going to, uh, with, the, with the Dremel, uh, maybe with this bit right here, uh, widen up the hole down here okay so that uh because this really isn't very this isn't structural this plastic here don't really need it for anything and that way uh i figure these can fit right through without me having to cut them off and re-put them on uh, so i'm going to widen that hole uh, so back to the lighting plan on on this guy Well, I think what I'm going to do is wire up uh, one of the small, the smallest uh, SMDs I have, the 0603s, because uh, in he this little section here, there's there's just a few windows on either side of this peg to light up, so it's not like you need to blast it with a lot of light. Uh, so I'll just wire it up with the magnet wire, glue it down here, and then run the magnet wire out through the hole, no problem there, okay? And, uh, and then I was thinking on this other side. On this other side, let me... So here we have, uh, uh, you know, essentially two chambers to light with uh, this peg here. So I thought I might do is just drill myself a bit of a channel uh, you know, leave the peg because we need it, but down below, uh, toward the very bottom, just drill out some of that plastic and, uh, and then take one of these SMD strips and uh, I'll, I'll probably just go ahead and wire up with magnet wire as usual uh, because these are, are kind of thick. Uh, so I'll just get a piece that we have from before. And it looks like if I take four... Uh, a strip of four of these, um, and they're super thin uh, and small, so running it through a little channel down here should be no problem. And so we'll have two down in this chamber, 
and two down this chamber, and that'll that'll capture all the light. Now I'll just wire up some magnet wire to one end of them. It'll come, you know, up. Uh, this will eventually sandwich onto here, and so. Uh, Sorry, guys. Yeah, like that. Um, and so the the wires will just go straight down into that hole too. Of course, all, all wires from the neck will will come down through this hole. Um, so uh, so that's the plan. Uh, let me uh, go ahead and start by dremeling out. Then inside this chamber, we'll dremel out, uh, widen this up to take all our wires through there, no problem and then build a little channel in through here for those S that SMD strip and uh, and then we'll get to just installing them should be pretty easy so I drilled out the two areas this little area in here and now you can see the the resistor comes right through there. A little bit of wiggling, but we just we just widen that area up a bit, and uh, now everything ought to be able to fit through there just fine. Then I opened up a little channel down below this peg. It was pretty easy; just drilled out on both sides with a teeny little. I say drill this little this little uh, this little Dremel tip, and uh, hopefully you can see here the uh, strip fits right in there. And so I've, right now I've got uh, two lights on this side, two two SMDs on this side. I'll cut it here, wire it, and uh, and here's the peg uh, that uh, that fits uh, in this part and like all the rest of our wires the wire from this guy will just go through this hole down into the body so uh, let me um, let me wire up the s this this strip um, and the little uh, smd that we'll put in here and uh, and then we'll come back and, and glue those into place and i think we'll be ready for uh, this to sandwich on with the saucer section. So it worked out perfectly. Um, there's the SMD uh, that we built uh, glued down. I use cyano on that one. A little Kickstarter to harden it quickly. Um, then I uh, fed, as you can see, uh, yeah, sorry about this guys, I don't know how to do this, but handheld, but um, fed the wires through the hole that we put and uh, let me go off camera, pull them through and flip it around so you don't throw up watching my video jump all over the place. Okay, so the video, the uh, wires are, are all pulled through that hole and as you can see this piece uh, fits right in perfectly, no problem. Um, then we have them coming out this side. Um, all this this little whole batch of them uh, that'll just pull through the body hole into the body. And there, down at the bottom, you can see I've glued in that uh, four-piece strip of SMD. Just put a little cyano at each end, uh, one end uh, zapped it, and then the other end. And uh, so, <clears throat> let me switch back to the regular lens and show the final piece, but uh, I think we're about done and ready to just glue this piece down and move on to the body. So here's the finished piece before gluing this on, but just, uh, it's just, uh, see if we can roughly, yeah. Look at that, it fits in, hopefully you can see that, it fits in just seamlessly. Um, here's all our wires coming through through the bottom. And, uh, there we go. So, uh, I will glue this on, 
and, and like I said, we'll be done with with this part. Um, and we can start working on lighting the bottom, actually probably before I pull this through, uh, get all the, the body parts um, in here. And uh, these two parts here. <clears throat> and of course we still have the nacelles to go too, but uh, anyway, these wires will all run down through the hole we made here uh, and then down through that into a rod, copper rod that we'll have there, a brass rod that we'll have there uh, for the wires to go off to power. Um, so pretty happy with the way this all turned out and looks. And uh, next we'll, we'll tackle lighting up the, the body.